Okay, welcome to part three of this beginner blender tutorial series. In the last part, we made the sun and then made it shine. In this video, we'll make the inner planets and then we'll show how to use an image texture to render the earth. And we're going to uh, go ahead and create us some planets. So select the sun, all right, and then hit shift D on your keyboard. And that's gonna make a copy of the sun. And then over on the left, you're gonna click on the move transform gizmo. And we're just gonna slide our copied sun off to where it is uh, to the side. Now we have two suns, okay? We really don't need two suns because well, we're not on Tatooine, we're on Earth, so we only need one of them. But we're gonna actually use this uh, to make mercury. We're just gonna switch the material and then we'll shrink it down and that's gonna become mercury. And then we can duplicate that to create the rest of the planets. Uh, so that way we don't have to create a fresh new sphere. We can just uh, make copies of what we already have in the scene. All right, so to change this up, we're gonna make sure that uh, our copy is selected. Go over to the materials tab uh, and then you can see up here at the top, uh, the sun material has the number two next to it. That's telling us that there's two objects in the scene that are both using the same material. So what we need to do is we need to make that second one have its own material. So just click on the two and that'll create a fresh new material out of the old one. So we're gonna rename that Mercury. And then you can go up into the collection uh, outliner up here double click on the sun 001 and rename that to Mercury. Okay, now we can scroll down on the materials uh, section and we're gonna go ahead and turn this emission back to black and we're gonna turn this alpha back to one. We're gonna go down to these sections here where it says alpha hashed and none, all that. We're gonna change that to opaque for both of them just to get back to the defaults on this material. We could have just created a brand new material, but I just wanted to show you how to turn those things off. Uh, and so now you can see that it's, it's reacting different to the, the light here. Uh, let's go ahead and shrink it down. So uh, hit S on the keyboard and then move your mouse and you can size that down. And then we're gonna hit the period on the number pad and that's gonna zoom us into our guy there. Uh, what we're going to do is go into the top orthographic mode by hitting the 7. And I think we want to move this guy in just a little bit closer to the sun. I like that. Okay, so now we're going to change the color. So over on the material, we're going to go to the base color. And we're going to make this sort of a, a brown, a dark brown color. So I think that's, that's good. All right, so now that gives us Mercury. All right, so now we're going to create Venus. So going back to the top orthographic mode, and we're going to go Shift D to duplicate, and then we're going to move our planet out here and just give it a little bit of space. And so we want to size that up because Venus is bigger than Mercury, so that's pretty good. Now we just want to do the same thing we just did before. So we're going to make a new copy of the material, name that Venus. Okay, and take our copy of Mercury up here, call that Venus. And then we're just going to change the color. And it should be, we want it to be sort of like this. It's usually portrayed as being sort of this noxious color to it. So let's do that. That works quite well. Uh, and make sure that you save your progress quite frequently. And then shift to D again to duplicate and make a copy that we're going to turn into the earth, which we'll put out about here, let's say. And we want to again make a new copy of this. Call it earth. And we're going to take Venus up here and call that earth. So we're going to do something new here. Instead of just giving it a uh, solid color for the uh, material, we're actually going to use uh, an image texture and uh, use that as the basis of the color. Uh, luckily for us, NASA has a bunch of 3D assets online, including some image textures of the Earth 
that we can use for free. Okay, so open up a web browser, go to your search engine of choice and search for NASA 3D assets. Uh, so as you can see here, the 3D models, NASA 3D resources link came up. Click on that. Over on the uh, left, you're gonna see images and textures. Go ahead and click there. And scroll down to E, and you see this first one here that says Earth. Click there. All right, and so what you wanna do is go down and get this first one here is the one I'm using, this TIFF file. It's gonna be the highest quality of the uh, options. And then save it wherever you like. That's going to save as a zip file. And then, depending on your web browser, you might be able to do this where you just uh, are able to open the folder and then go to extract all and extract. And just uh, follow the prompts there to do that. And we're going to go up just to make sure that it got actually extracted. So, here we have a little folder with our image texture in it. And so you can actually delete the zip file after you've extracted it. You won't need that. Just remember where you have saved this because we're gonna need it uh, in a minute. Okay, great. So now that you've got that downloaded and you know where your image uh, texture is, uh, is saved, we're going to go ahead and uh, attach that to the earth. So to do that, you wanna go into the shading tab and so what we're going to do here is go up to the top here, change the viewport shading over here back to the rendered. Uh, and so now we have our sun and our first three objects. Hit the period so that it uh, focuses on the earth because we're going to want to see sort of the results of the what we're doing here. All right, and so the lower half of this uh, window is sort of new to us. This is the node editor. There's a couple different uh, sort of tools in Blender that will use this node setup. So it's a good uh, opportunity for us to get a look at how these things work. Uh, so you have this material output node here, and that's what actually is putting the material onto the object. Uh, this thing here is this principled BSDF. This is a shader. This is actually what is uh, allowing us to uh, make sort of the highlights and the shadows look like they do. Uh, there's a lot of different options on here. It's very intimidating, obviously. This is the same set of stuff that is in the materials stack here. The exact same things, just in uh, this node setup. So here's something really, really cool about the nodes. See these buttons here? Well, you can plug stuff into them. And so instead of just using a uh, monochrome color, what we're going to do is we're going to plug an image texture into this base color and then that's going to show up on the sphere. So here's how we do that. Go to add, we go down to texture, image texture. And then it gives you this, uh, this image texture node sort of attached to your mouse. So find a spot for it uh, out in the open uh, to the left of that principled BSDF shader. And then pull the yellow uh, dot and make a little yellow noodle and connect that to the base color. Then you're going to go over to open and now we're going to select the image texture. And so for me that's in the standard assets section of my drive. And so now we have the texture on our planet. And look at that. It actually just throwing it on there. It looks pretty good. You can see the seam right there, but uh, overall it's pretty good. You know, so for our purposes, since our camera is going to be pretty far away from this, uh, we're not going to worry about it. That's all we need to really do for uh, the setup of our texture. So we're going to go back to the layout window. All right. And now we're going to make Mars. And so we're going to do Shift D to duplicate. And then we're going to pull Mars a little farther out here. And Mars is a little smaller than the Earth. So we're going to hit S to size. And then just shot, size it down just a little bit. Maybe size it down a little bit more. That's good. Again, we're going to make a new copy of the material and change it to Mars. We go up here, change this to Mars. Great. 
And now we want to go back into the shading option. And we are going to uh, hover over the 3D viewport, hit the period. That's going to snap us to what we have selected, which is our Mars, but it's still showing the texture. So just click on the, uh, the texture node, hit delete on the keyboard, and that will delete it. Now, obviously, we want Mars to be red. So let's find a nice red for Mars. Good looking Mars red. A little too red. That's a pretty good looking Mars red, I'd say. I'm happy with that Mars red. Okay. So now we're going to go back to the layout, go up, file, save. And we now have the inner planets of our solar system created. All right, well, that brings us to the end of this episode. In the next episode, we're going to do the outer planets, and we're going to start looking at how to manipulate the, uh, the actual mesh of your objects.